Hello everyone, this is TJ with Robinhood Coins and I'm here with my favorite little helper. What are we doing today? We are doing two boxes of nickels. That's right. And what did you find? I found a 1961 Ender. Yes, sir. We found, she found a 1961 Ender. That was the oldest Ender that we found, but looks like a lot of oldies on the ends. So hopefully we have some buffaloes or some war nickels on the inside for our collection. And so hopefully we have a really good find for the Robin Hood Coins giveaway for this video. As always, all you have to do to enter the giveaway is just comment on the video. And on our weekend winner's announcement video, we'll pick the winner. Let's get into these rolls and we'll show you what we find. All right, I think we have an oldie because I was just going through here and I see the Denver mint mark on the back. And a lot of times those are oldies. Ooh, they're back to back too. Let's see what we got. 1946, I knew it. Haha, <laughs> 1940s. This is the oldest one we got on the books. And it's a silver. No, not 1946. We missed silver by one year. 1945. If if, But it wouldn't have had the mint mark right there. The mint mark would have been at the top above the building. All right, let's see what this other back D mint mark is. And it is a 1964. Plain common as they come. I should have left the camera on because three coins later and we have the 1955 Denver Mint Mark. Another oldie. We keep all S Mint Marks and all pre-1960s. So we'll just kind of cruise through the rest of these because th that roll had a lot of oldies. Found a 1952. Yes, yeah, she did. Actually, you have, how many? You found another one too. But man, that one looks like it came out of the ground. It's all beat up. Good job. All right, and then also, while over the past couple of rolls, I also found this 2009. It was in my roll and I didn't even see it. Yep, she missed it and I always check everything, uh, all of her rolls afterward. All right, we got another oldie, 1954, Philadelphia. It's not the most uncommon, it, well, not uncommon at all, but I will take it. We had the Nine, 2009. Yippers. We'll let you know what else we find. Roll 20 and look at this beautiful 1969 S. Just great condition. I can't wait to see if this is the best one that I have. If it's not the best, it's definitely the second or third best and it'll go in my daughter's collection. Towards the end of roll 23 and we got another oldie. 1949. Let's see if we have a mint mark. Nope, 1949 Philadelphia. All right, let's see what the uh, mintage is. And we're at 60 million. So pretty common, but still, it's a 1940s. I will take it. The very next roll, roll 24, and we have another 1940s. This one's a little bit more toasty, but we have a 1941. Let's see if we have a mint mark. Nope. 1941 Philadelphia and that is going to be a very common 200 million all right well still it's a 1940s that's three on the board so two rolls later and we have a 1952 and let's see I haven't checked it yet let's see if we get another mint mark or a mint mark oh 1952 s yeah I don't, th I don't think I have the 52S. Wow, that is awesome. 1952S, 20 million. That's pretty good. I mean, it's not a uh, key date or anything, but still, 20 million is not bad. And it's in decent shape. That's exciting. <laughs> All right, I'll let you know what else we find. Roll 26, and we have two oldies. I got this one earlier in the roll, and I just saved it. It's a 1956 Denver mint mark. I kind of knew that it was kind of a, a it had a high mintage, so I just saved it. But then I just got to this 1949 oldie. It's a Philadelphia, and it's an oldie, but uh, it's it's probably common. But it's still a 1940s. Wow! Very next roll, roll 27, and I see that we have another S mint mark. Let's see what the year is. I haven't even looked at it yet. 
And we have a 1952 San Francisco. That's our that's our second 1952 San Francisco. <laughs> this box has a lot of oldies and a lot of Espens. I wish we had a Buffalo to go with it. But still, this is going to be a great box for the collection books. Roll 28 and we have our first foreign coin of the night. And it's a peso. Estados Unidos Mexicanos. And it is from 1993. Hopefully you can see that. Awesome. I love foreign coins. I don't get them very often, but I like them. Roll 41, and we have our third 2009 of the night. I usually only get one a box, and it may, I think I've had a couple boxes with zero. So having three in one box is pretty good. Roll 43, and we have our first war nickel of the box. It's a Denver Mint mark. I don't know the year. Man, that's pretty slick, though. There's definitely no steps on that. But let's check it out. 1945. That is awesome. <laughs> I love finding silver in the nickel box. Check this out. We're still on roll 43, the same roll as that war nickel. And we have a 1969S. And then right behind it, we know we have an oldie because it has the D on the right of the Monticello. I'm going to put the camera back and let's see what we got. So here is that 1969S. Nice looking coin, not the greatest, but definitely decent. And let's see what year this is. 1940, I was hoping it was gonna be old. <laughs> this is the new oldest of the box, a 1940D. What do we have here as far as mintage? Probably common, 1940D, 43 million. Not, not super high. Definitely not a key date or semi-key date, but still, I'll take it. Holy cow, the very next roll, third coin in, and we have another oldie, 1949. I haven't even checked to see the mint mark. Let's see what we got. And it is a 1949 Denver. All right, so roll 45, and I think we might have a war nickel. I don't know, I've been fooled before, but this one right here, looks a little greenish and a little darker if it, if nothing else if it if it's not a war nickel you'll never see this but let's check it out oh it's looking even more greener all right let's see here uh nothing nothing 1988 no 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 all right what do we got here 1943 it is i knew it I knew it. 1943S. That is awesome. <laughs> That's the second silver. I don't think, well, no, I think I have gotten two silvers before in a box. But that makes up for the fact that we don't have any buffaloes. That's a pretty good condition one, too. Man, that is awesome. This box, and that last roll was full of oldies. So that makes total sense that this one had some oldies in it. Let's see what else this, box, or this roll is going to give us. I didn't see anything else that looked like silver, so that's fine. Ooh, 1946. <laughs> I knew we were going to have another oldie in here. Well, I didn't know it, but I was hoping. Philadelphia. Wow, first roll of box number two, and we're on the seventh coin, and we already have our first oldie, 1957. Let's see what we have and it is a denver mint mark that is awesome it's the first roll so let's go ahead and just go through the rest of it and see if there's anything else hopefully this box gives us a uh, buffalo we still haven't gotten a buffalo we got the two silvers earlier 1970 s i love the s mint marks i don't keep all the 70s but I definitely keep all of the S's. That's a good, that's two, two things, two keepers for me out of the very first roll is exciting. Ooh, <laughs> 1954. Wow. Let's see if it has a mint mark. 1954 Denver. That is awesome. <laughs> I think that's pretty common. But 1954 Denver, 117 million. Yeah, that's definitely common. Still, it's an oldie. It's a keeper. Very next roll, and we already have a 40s on the books. 1949, 
Philadelphia. That is awesome. Roll 10, and we have our second oldest coin of the night, 1952. And it is a Denver Mint Mark, a real light Denver Mint Mark. Barely can see it. The very next roll towards the end, I'm getting kind of excited. This looks really worn and it looks old. I know it's somewhat old because I see a mint mark on the right hand side. And we have an S mint mark, I think. See, yep, S mint mark. Let's see what the year is. 1940. Nice. We had a 1940 in the last box, but it wasn't an S. I don't remember if it was a D or a plane, but it was not an S. That is awesome. What is the 39 million, 39 million of the 1940s. <laughs> that is great. Just two rolls later and we have another oldie. We have a 1955. Let's see what the mint mark is. And it's a 55 Denver. <laughs> I think we had a 55 Denver last, last one or maybe it was a Philadelphia. But that is awesome. Another oldie going in there. Another pre-60s. Uh, we also had, um, in the last two rolls, a lot of other stuff. A 1959, which is, we're on like our third one of those. 1969S. 1970S. And this 1981 that was in decent shape. We are on roll 17 and we had a whole bunch of duplicates in the last two rolls, or three rolls maybe. 1970S. 59, 58, 57, another 2009 for this box. But the real reason I turned the camera on was this Republica Dominica 1984. Just a nice looking coin. I don't have any uh, Dominican Republic uh, coins. Uh, Cinco Centavos Sanchez Mela. So just nice. This is this is a good new foreign for me. Pretty excited about that. This is so exciting. I can't wait to show you this. But first, I want to show you some duplicates we got in the past couple of rolls. We had two more 2009s. Bring in the 2009 count of this box up to, to four. We had this beautiful 1970S, except for that corrosion right there. This would have just been a great coin. Then we also had this 1957, which makes the second 1957 of this box. But check this out. I think this is a misaligned die error. It's got the large die right here, or large border over here, no border over here. But then on the reverse, it has an even border. So I had a penny like this in the last video, 1991, that John Gamble pointed out to me. I missed it. I was just going to throw it in with the other really nice looking 1991s and put it in one of our binders, possibly. And But John Gamble pointed it out via comments. And then so I started asking around and looking around. And uh, Michael Michael Kiddo Rare Coins, he pointed out the that if the reverse has an even uh, border, that it's a misaligned die. And I was also talking to Rob Fine's Treasure about it. And uh, then I showed um, John Gamble again pictures of it via email. So just a wonderful community. Thank you very much, John Gamble. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Rob. A couple rules later, and I got another oldie. 1946. Let's see about the mint mark. And it is a Denver mint mark. That is awesome. It's, an, it's probably common being 1946, but it's still 40s. That brings us to 340s. And while we were, the last couple of rolls, we also had another 1970S and another 1959. Towards the end of the very next roll, I got another oldie. Check this out. It's a 1953. I already saw the mint mark. It's, a, it's an S. And I checked the red book, and it's only 19 million minted. All right, we're all the way out to roll 40, and we got another oldie, 1947. And it's even a Denver mint mark. I checked it because it was so old, I just had to. Um, but that's pretty old, and I've also looked at the red book, and it's 37 million minted. So not super low, but not high either. And then we also had a 1957 and a 58 as well. Roll 45, and we found another oldie, 1954. Looks like it's a Denver mint mark, but man, this thing has seen better days. It is pretty beat up. So I don't think I'm going to be saving that one. 
Well, I just finished hunting the last of the rolls of the second box, and these two boxes really gave us a lot of different years and a lot of different mint marks. I can't wait to show you them all here in this wrap-up. So, first off, we had a total of 11 2009s, which is more than I had in my collection before I even started this, this uh, hunt. Then we had 14 of the 1970 S's, over 100 million minted, so that's to be expected. We had four of this 1969S, but man, this one was just beautiful condition. We ended up with four 1968S's, and we ended up with two pesos and this Republica Dominica 1984. Nice little foreign, uh, foreign coin right there. We had the 1953S, which had uh, 20 million minted relatively low, not a key date or semi-key date, but we ended up with two 1952 S's, again, down there in that 20 million mint range. So that was nice. And then of the 50s in the Denver, we had eight 1959s, and this one was a pretty good condition one. That was a pretty nice one. We had five 1958 Denvers, three 57s, a 56, two 55s, and I did check for the D over S, and it doesn't have it. Uh, we had t three of the 1954 Denvers, a 53 and a 52 Denver, and this 52 Denver was in pretty good shape for its age. And then we had three of the 1959 Philadelphias, a 57 Philadelphia, a 54 Philadelphia, and three 52 Philadelphias. Some of the best finds we had at the box were these War Nickels, 1945 from Denver. Then a 1943 from San Francisco. So we got those in the first box. It's really nice to get silver in the boxes, cause, especially because we didn't get any buffaloes. We had a 1949 Denver. We had this 1947 Denver. Two 1946 Denvers. We had this 1940S, which is a little bit uh, older. I mean, 1940, but it's still 40 million minted. So it wasn't... Uh, low mintage. We had the 1940 Denver. Those are probably two of the oldest that we got. Actually, they are the two oldest that we got. Then we had a 1941 Plain, 46 Philadelphia, and 349 Philadelphias. And then finally, we had this uh, misaligned die error and a beautiful coin. I think it might have some uh, grease marks or grease... Uh, when Greece was in the die when it was stamped, I'm not sure, but uh, it looks like we have a misaligned die error. The left side has pretty much no rim and the right side has a, a high rim or a lot of rim and then the back is aligned properly. So it's time for the Robin Hood Coins giveaway for this video. So the Robin Hood Coin giveaway for this video is going to be these three nickels right here. First, we have this 1943 San Francisco Mint War Nickel. I checked the collection and we already have this in our collection. So we're gonna have that in. We had two of this 1946 Denver in this hunt alone. So we're gonna throw this one in. And then we also had two of the 1952 San Francisco Mint, 20 million minted. Pretty nice little coin right there. So these are gonna be the Robin Hood coin giveaway for this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really enjoyed recording it and hunting, and it's been a lot of fun. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the content, subscribe if you haven't already, and feel free to share with others so we can get to a 1,000 subscribers as quickly as possible, and I can do my biggest giveaway yet. Until the next video, I will see you on the next hunt.